Yo, what's good, guys? I just thought I'll show you how I make my uh, Afro beats, dancehall type beats in Ableton. So the beat sounds like this. So this is like a Kojo Funs kind of beat, you know. I, I don't really know how to explain it, but I just want to show you the process. So what I'm going to do is show you everything that I did. So the first thing I did was I created the drum pattern. So it goes like this. You know, I'm trying to keep it very simple. I'm not, you know, trying to create anything complicated because it sounds complicated when it's all together, but really just keep it simple. Uh, then I went to the chords. So I'll show you all the plugins as well. So what I did is it's it's not a secret. So there's this scale thing in Ableton. So it keeps you in a in a scale, I guess. And um I just transposed it down and then I I put in my uh my chord. So I'll show you how I do that real quickly. So what you do is you press Command F and then just type in scale. And then you have all these different scales and I just experimented until I found like, you know, I think this is like, you know, the best for Afrobeat. So I, I guess if you guys are struggling to like, you know, create melodies, create good uh, chords, that's, you know, for Afrobeat, <clears throat> this is a good way to start off. I, I always do this. It's, it's it's not cheating, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, some, some of, someone could use this and, you know, the beat might not be good, but it's about how, how you hear things. But anyway, so I did the chords. So I'm gonna show you the uh, what I use. So, so it's an ethnic instrument, kalimba bass. I I took I took something out of it. It was like a bassy thing. I didn't need it. So anyway, let me just play it, and I'll show you the chords as well. This is how I play them. And it, just look, I didn't make everything so so tight to the grid. So you know. Cause you know, it just gotta be loose, man. You gotta, you gotta make people feel the vibe. And then um, I added just like a harp kind of instrument. So here it is. And I'll show you. So it's just the same thing. You know, you got you gotta layer your instrument sometimes, just to give it that nice dynamic garden. So this is everything together. The two chords and this EQing. And uh, yeah, with this one, I, I, I use the auto pan, so it goes left and right a bit, you know, just to make it move. Uh, what else? So then I got a flute sound. And again, same plugin, plugin, <laughs> plug, plugin. And it's, it's just like, it just goes like, just one time. You know, that that's pretty much it. So I'll show you. So it's just one note. Keep it simple, like I always say. And then um, now I added a bass after that. So here's the bass that I used, and it's from it's from Massive. So but with this though, it's 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 from a it's from an an, an expansion that I got, but I don't know which it's from I think. I'm not really sure where I got. I think it's from this one. <laughs> I'm not really sure, but yeah, that's what I used in here. And um, <clears throat> after that, I had a stab. Like I always do this. Like I always have something that just plays once. This is what I always do. And it it, it go it goes a long way. Trust me. So so let me show you. These two things together work together. Watch. So you see, you, you gotta let your music. I mean, you gotta let your your instrument instruments communicate well together so it's like this says something and then that you know answers back says something answers back and when the beats playing together these things sound really good together so yeah what what else did i miss anything out then i got a vocal so here it is it's just no oh, sure so that's all i did all right so it goes like this i ain't made a tutorial in a while man so i'm i'm, I'm kind of <laughs> i'm not really good at it right now but yeah just simple 
Very simple. And pretty much after that, to me, the beat's done. So I'm gonna play it again. So with a beat like this, you kind of wanna drop things out. So maybe, like when when the the verse comes in, maybe you drop out the drums. You know, just give everyone a break and then let it hit again. Alright, so I'm not really gonna get into the structure of the beat. I've not even done that yet, and that's because I have to go and do something. But if you guys want me to show you a beat that an Afrobeat that I've structured, just tell me in the, in the comment below. So yeah, thanks. <laughs> 